Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back into my channel. So in this demo, we're going to create two load balancers, an application load balancer and a network load balancer. So basically, we're going to do some elastic load balancers, and then we're going to apply SSL and TLS in encryption certificate into our load balancers. So go ahead and just create real quick. Let's see what we got. Okay, so first and foremost, let's check to see if we have instances available. At that time, I don't want to get charged for them, so I will just erase them. And we create them when I need them. Okay, so let me go ahead and create. So first, I'm going to create... Uh, an application load balancer, I can give it a name, ALB. Um, demo. Uh, let's call this ALB lab. And I can leave it on internet, internet facing. I can just put it on two availability zone. So, US is one and US is F. Scroll down. I can pick up a security group for it. My SG load balancer. I'll delete this one. I will leave it on protocol HTTP on port 80. I'm going to create a target group for that. So I can attach them to it, register them. So I will leave this on instances. I can call this TG. Um, let's call this TG-ALB, which means like target group for application load balancer. And then I will scroll down. I will leave this protocol version of HTTP, HTTP one, yes. And I can leave everything else as default. See, it looks okay to me. So next, we'll register those two load balancers, server one and server two. I mean, those two um, web servers, server one and server two, and create. Okay, so now my first load balancer has been created no, no, that's for the target group. I need to go back here and just here yeah, refresh and uh, go my target group and um, scroll down. Uh, everything looks okay. I will leave everything else as default. I'm gonna go create. Okay, now I can view my load balancer. And while this is provision, let me create a network load balancer and create now if you just jump into this lab and i'll be dash um lab let's call this lab lab okay and i uh, will put this on two availability zones so let's put uh, uh, US 1D. Um, let's create a target group for it. For the, I can name this TG. It stands for um, target group NLB, which is network load balancer. I will scroll down and just click next. And I will attach these two um, web server into it and I will create my load balancer. Oh, I forget. Did I choose a security group? I probably didn't. I was too quick. So let me go back here. Um, It don't matter. Let's see, should I? Yeah, let's edit that. It's already created, right? I did it. 
attention to what associate with the new root balance associated with an existing one. Oh, that's the target group call. Are you good? So then you go here. Hold up. See. Okay. So you're good so far. And you're good. Um my doing. Just the uh, balancer. Code balancer works. Create a network code balancer. Subnet. Okay, so let's just refresh. And then what else? Everything looks okay. Okay, let's go ahead and just create our load balancer. Okay, so now that we created an application load balancer and a network load balancer, right? So, and um, let's go to load balancers down here. So now, as you can see, we have two load balancers being created. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to create, we're going to, we're going to create an SSL certificate, I mean, SSL slash SSL. Slash S. Um, TLS certificate into it. So now what we shall do is, let's say we go to the application load balancer. By the way, what is, what you gotta do is just click on add listener. But um, what is SSL and TLS? Say if you were to, to Google, what is SSL slash T, oh, TLS? I'm going to tell you what I know about SSL and TLS um, in AWS. So an SSL certificate allows traffic between your client and your load balancer to be encrypted in transit, which means in flight encryption. So SSL refer to socket, secure socket layer. It used to encrypt connections. So TLS on the other hand refers to transport layer security which is a newer version. So nowadays, TLS certificates are mainly used, but people still refer as SSL. So public SSL certificate or issued by certificate authorities, which is CA. Like we have Komodo, Simarek, Kodari, Global sign, DigiCert, let's encrypt, etc. So SSL, so SSL, SSL is basically SSL certificate have an expiration date. You should know that. So you set the expiration date and you must renew it every time. So now when you have a load balancer, so basically what SSL do, it makes you able to have your HTTPS being enabled by default. TLS on AWS. So it says SSL and TLS stands for secure, I just say that, secure transport layer and transport secure, I mean, secure socket layer and transport layer security. That is a protocol or communication rule that allows computer system to talk to each other on the internet safely. SSL and TLS certificate allow web browsers to identify and establish encrypt encrypted message connection to web site using 
the SSL and TLS protocol. So let's see what Amazon says for that on their webs in their website. Um. So what is an SSL and TLS certificate? So this is whatever. What is it? So an SSL and TLS certificate is a digital um object that allows system to verify and identify and uh, the identity and subsequently establish an encrypted network connection to another system using the secure socket layer, transport layer, I mean, transport layer security protocol. Certificates are used within a cryptographic system known as public key infrastructure, PKI. So PKI provides a way for one party to establish the identity of another party using certificate if they both trust our third party known as certificate authorities authority so basically um i think that's basically all that we we, we explained without google this before we google this i mean all right so let's go ahead and just do this ends on on ssl and so all we do is just switch back over. We just go here and say to add listener. So then the protocol is going to be HTTPS instead of HTTP. You could tell that as we done that, we have port 443 is already been um, assigned for us by default. So the default action is gonna stay as it is. And as we go down, see, could forward with rec, turn fix, could dig, dig into that yourself. It looks like now for security policy, you could give it any security policy that you want to, but there's one that's been selected here by default it's the one that's recommended it's elb which is elastic load balancer security policy tls so i will leave that now the default ssl and tls certificates it says that the the certificate used if a client connects without nsi protocol or if there is no mar marching Certificate, this certificate will automatically be added to your listener certificate list. So, so this is basically the secure listener settings. So, and if you go here, that's if you want to select a certificate. Now, now on the key value, you see there's a default here. You could you could get the key from, I mean, ACM, which is Amazon Certificate Management, or from IAM, which is not recommended, or import the key if you have one. Let's say if you were to import the key, you see, you would have to paste your keys here. If you choose from I am, you got a different one. And we will leave this as the same as default. Now let's see here. Let's say, for instance, if this were to be from imported, this would be like that. So. Go ahead and just leave this as it is and just hold up. <clears throat> so let's say imported. Two. So, 
So, so then let's go ahead and just, and just cancel this for, just for lab purposes. I, I just wanna show you all these steps, but this is not something that will go created for real. Now, let's go back to, to load balancer and pick up the network load balancer. You would add listener as we did on the, on the other one. Now you would go to protocol You would select TLS and you would add your target group for that. And I will leave everything else as default. And if I want to, I could do the same as I did with that and port or whatever, and you would add it. But, um, Let's see if you want to do that. See something? Request me a certificate. That's if you add one, you would have to request it. So that's basically all that is to create an ACM. I mean, to, to add certificate into your, to add certificate into your load balancers. I'll see the balancers. If I go here, you would have to just go here and uh, store HD VS says action. You could do forward redirect, change fix response, or authenticate. That's the that would be this by default. You get a new request. It's pretty simple. All right, guys. Well, thank you so very much for following along. Stay tuned for another lab. This is a pretty basic lab. All you got to do is just configure your SSL slash TLS certificate into load balancers, into elastic load balancer. So thank you. I appreciate you guys. Stay tuned for another lab. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.